It's Friday night, and your chest glows warm with the tingle of alcohol and love for your friends. It's Friday night, and the campus pulsates with life. Hallways sing with laughter. Sidewalks vibrate with bass. It's Friday night, and you're going out. Floral top that you borrowed, baggy pants that flare outward, gold hoops that slightly burden your earlobes, Doc Martens that pinch and chafe your feet. The air of the frat house is thick with the scent of vodka and testosterone. Garish multicolored lights and a constellation of red solo cups barrage your eyes. You are subsumed by the tidal wave of bodies, dragged and driven by the current. A piece of flotsam collides into you. He asks if you want to dance. You say okay, believing still in the earnestness of words. Immediately he grabs you and imposes his mouth upon yours. It's slimy, alien, shocking. You almost gag. But you don't want to be rude. You don't want to start conflict. You don't want to rock the boat. You feel like you owe him something in return for the gift of his straight male attention. So you say nothing. His hands grasp at places you don't want to be grasped. But you say nothing. The air of his room is thick with the stench of vodka and testosterone. And you say nothing. The clothes come off, and your body is bare, but your soul is more so. You say... Nothing. Your insides hurt, your outsides hurt, but patience is a virtue, they say, so you bear it. It's a game. It's a test. It's an exercise of willpower. It's waiting for the next episode to load while the Wi-Fi buffers. It's watching your frozen dinner rotate through the dimly lit microwave window. It's counting sheep while you twist restlessly beneath sweat-laced blankets. Your body screams pain, but your clenched jaw stifles it. It's a game. It's a test. It's a trial by fire to earn your stripes. It's a crucible of metamorphosis. Caterpillar to butterfly, bud to rose, subject to object. Stars and nebulae cloud the galaxy of your vision, and the moment of transcendence arrives. You leave behind the mere mortal vessel that confines the boundless spirit The vessel is manhandled, choked, prodded, jerked like a marionette, tossed like a rag doll. But you float above, swaddled by a cocoon of pink-tinted clouds, serenaded by lilting birdsong, bathed by warm whispers of sun. And then you fall back down to earth. You stagger home alone in the dark arms crossed to protect, back hunched to shrink. The chill of night is bitter and biting on your skin. You stumble to the bathroom, and wisps of blood dance in the toilet bowl like food dye and vinegar, a celebration of festivities, of death and resurrection. It reminds you of the Japanese swirling ink paintings you learned to make in first grade art class, Sumi Nagashi. It's pretty. You laugh about it. You wake up the next morning, crust adorning the inner corners of your eyes. And you laugh about it. You go hiking with a friend, chest heaving as you trek uphill. And you laugh about it. You laugh over dinner, you laugh over homework, You laugh and you laugh and you laugh and you laugh until your tank is on E and you're forced to pull over. You're forced to be still. 
You sit there, heart outracing the metronome of the blinking hazard lights. You sit there, and you reckon. But you never said no. But he never asked. But you never said no. But he. But you. But.